The cat in the hat is about to appear. He's whizzing over to whisk you away on a fabulous journey today. He's coming! And now he's arrived in the thing of Majiga, the thing that he drives. He's a cat and he zoodles of fun with his hairy helpers thing to a thing one. <laughs> Start like that. Wherever you're going, wherever you're at, the cat in the hat knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about. He knows a lot about that. <laughs> Rocket ready for takeoff, Sally. Let's see how high it can go, Nick. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Oh, it nearly reached the top of the sky that time! Huh? Ta-da! A rocket to the top of the sky! Can I come along for the ride? It's the cat! The cat in the hat! We'd love to send it to the top of the sky, but our rocket is too small! It just won't go that high! Maybe your rocket just needs some extra zippy-zappy go-go-go! My whoa! Look at it go launcher! Wow! Will that make our rocket go higher? Let's give it a try! Here it is! <laughs> okay, everyone stand well back for takeoff! Three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! Look at it go! That's why I call it my whoa, look at it go launcher! Hey! I can't see it anymore. That's because it's gone to the top of the sky. I wonder what it's like up there. It must be a really cool place to be. Why don't we go find out? Your mother will not mind at all if we do. <laughs> Mom, can Sally and I go with the cat in the hat to the top of the sky? Go with the cat to the top of the sky? Okay, but mind you don't bump your heads. Thanks, Mom. We can go, we can go. I know, I know. Uh-oh. This is going to be a long trip. Hope you brought a picnic. No need, Fish. We'll be there in a flash. I've heard that before. Buckle up! <laughs> Flick the Jigger, my wizard! To the top of the sky. Here we go, 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 go. On an adventure. Go, 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 go. We're nearly as high as the trees. That's pretty high. It's pretty busy up here. Oh, hey. How did I get here? Nice of you to hop in, little feller. You must have fallen in from a tree. Are we nearly at the top of the sky? No idea. We tree hoppers never go higher than this. There's nothing to eat. Gotta go. Bye. 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 Well, if this isn't the top of the sky, then we need to go higher. We're on our way. We're on our way. To the top of the sky. To the top of the sky. The top, the top of the sky, sky is high. as high as the highest mountain. Not sure if it's the top of the sky, but it's certainly the top of the world. Ooh, it's so cold up here. And it's kind of hard to breathe. Mm-hmm. There's not much air. Not much of anything. There's nobody around. Hmm. Well, here's a surprise. <gasps> Why, there is someone there in that mountain. Let's go say hello. 
I've never seen anyone else up this high except us yaks. So only yaks live here? Yeah, that's because the other creatures aren't as tough as us yaks. We're real tough. It must be your hairy coat that keeps you warm. And what a particularly nice hairy coat you're wearing, if I may say. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, look! Uh, there is uh, someone else up here. Birds! Those geese don't live here. They're just passing through. Maybe they're going to the top of the sky. Why don't we go and find out? Bye, Mr. Yak. See you later. Stay warm, guys. See you soon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excuse me, uh -huh. we're on our way to the top of the sky. Have you been there? Never been to the top of the sky. This is as high as we go. Are you the only birds up here? Yep, only us far-headed geese fly this high. We're the highest flyers in the sky. Wow, that means there's nothing else above except the top of the sky. No more birds, no more yaks, and no more anything except sky. Let's go, go, go. We're on our way. We're on our way. To the top of the sky. To the top of the sky. The top, top of the sky, sky is high. on my bowl. And it's even harder to breathe. It's time for the bubble snuggle aerifier. <laughs> wow. Ah, that's better. Much warmer now. <sighs> I got my breath back. <laughs> Look out! Whoa! We're going to bump into that cloud. Oh, 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 oh. We're in the middle of the cloud. I can't see a thing. Hmm. This doesn't seem to be working. I still can't see anything. Are we lost? No, I think we're still going up. Yay! We're out. Now the cloud looks like a fluffy carpet. And there's even more sky above. Maybe this is the top. There's nobody up here but us. Yikes! Except that airplane. Wow, airplanes fly really high. I told you the top of the sky is a long way. It's taking forever to get there. Can't we go any faster, Cat? Of course we can. Pull the space eraser. Station, home of my old friend, astronaut Audrey. There she is. Oh, let's join her. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Kat. How are you doing? I'm doing great. And so are Sally, Nick, and Fish. Hi. What are you all doing up here? We're looking for the top of the sky. The top of the sky? Do you know how high we should go? <laughs> Why, Sally, the sky has no top. No top? The sky turns into space, and space goes on forever. You mean forever and ever and ever? And ever? Roger that. Cool. Forever is a very long way. I told you so. So we'll never get to the top of the sky? Maybe we should go home and try again in the morning. Just one thing, Cat, before you go. I need some help. Anything, Audrey. Just ask. Something is stuck to my space station, and I need help getting it out. It's our rocket! <laughs> it must have got stuck on its way to the top of the sky. Can you help? No problem. When something you want is stuck just like glue, who better to call than Thing 1 and Thing 2? 
A place that we knew was higher than high. Higher than trees and mountains so tall. But then we found out there was no top at all. <laughs> Can the sky really go on forever, Cat, with no top? Audrey said so. And she knows a whole lot about sky and space. Hey! What do you say we send our rocket to the moon this time? Great idea! To the moon! <laughs> My whoa look at it go! Launcher is ready to go! All set! Ready for takeoff! Five, four, three, two, one! Blast off! <laughs> I forgot to let go. Ah. Oh my! Today, I have a very hard question for you. Are you ready? Which of these three animals does not drink water? Is it a lion? Or is it a seagull? Or is it a frog? Did you say that the frog does not drink water? That's right! Frogs don't drink water like you do. They get their water by soaking it in through their skin. Did you get it this time? Well, next time, I'll stump you for sure. Take a picture with our snapper and our cameras. I'll take the picture, and I'll guess what it is. Okay, Sally, take a guess. A puzzle. Hmm, I see lots of dark fur. It looks like a gorilla. Wait, two gorillas. Yes, one gorilla is picking through the fur of the other one. That's how they clean each other. Great photo, Nick. <laughs> Jiggle, Nick. It's more like a wiggle, Sally. A jiggle and a wiggle. Wiggle, jiggle. Do I hear wiggling and jiggling? It's the cat. A cat in the hat. Oh, I love to wiggle. <laughs> and wriggle and squiggle and jiggle and giggle. <laughs> Wiggling's fun, but jiggling's a lot harder. Why is it so hard to do? Because we've got hard bones inside us. We do? This jelly's got no bones, so it can really jiggle. But we have lots and lots. Why do we need so many bones? I do not know. But I know someone who does. Dr. Giggles. He knows all about our insides. Can we visit him? Your mother will not mind at all if you do. <laughs> Dr. Giggles about bones with the cat in the hat? Go ask about bones with the cat in the hat? Sure, honey. I have no bone to pick with that. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> we can go! We can go! I know, I know! To the thingamajigger! I love to wiggle my tail. It's how I get around. <laughs> Speaking of getting around, buckle up! Flick the jigger, my wizard! <laughs> Isn't this fun? No Here we go, 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 go! On an adventure, the thing of my jigger is up and away! Go, 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 go! On an adventure, we're flying with the cat! Dr. Giggles, 
to ask him about bones, wiggles, and jiggles. Here we go, 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 on an adventure. Go, 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 go! Welcome to Dr. Giggles' house. I hope the doctor's in. Huh? Sure sounds like it. <laughs> it looks like Dr. Giggles has a bad case of giggleitis. Good one, Pat. <laughs> a giggle a day keeps the doctor away. Now, how can I help you? We want to be more jiggly. But we can't, because we have bones inside us. Do we need all our bones? Without bones, you'd jiggle better, it's true. But you'd lose all the wonderful things bones do for you. What things? Take a look in this box. Wow! Do we have that many bones inside us? You do. <laughs> they all fit together inside you like a big puzzle. It's called a skeleton. Huh? Skeleton? One bone is my favorite. Which bone is that? I know, I know! The funny bone! <laughs> That's right! <laughs> but can you find it? <laughs> sure! How hard can it be? All these bones look funny to me! Could this be the funny bone? That looks kind of big to be a funny bone. I wonder what it's for. Hmm. It's straight and long, so it must fit into a long, straight part of our body. Which parts of us are straight and long? Arms are straight and long. Maybe it's an arm bone. Arms aren't the only things that are straight and long. Legs are too. Maybe it's a leg bone. Let me put it under my hat and think about it. If only we could see inside our bodies. Then we'd know for sure. You can, with my bona fide skelly ma wizard. <laughs> oh, I love the skelly ma wizard. <laughs> wow! To show off your bones, please step inside. <laughs> Hi, Nick! Wow! I can see Sally's bones! That's a skeleton! All of the bones in your body! But which bone is this? Hmm, it's like an arm bone, only longer. It's a leg bone! Yippee! That's right! <laughs> Your legs contain three of the longest bones around! <laughs> are those bones, those bones, those bones, wahoo! Those big bones are inside you! The bones in your arms and your legs are strong! They hold you up as you walk <laughs> along! I'm glad we have those big bones! I like being strong! <laughs> <laughs> if that big bone isn't the funny bone, then maybe it's one of these small bones. Yeah, there are so many. One of them has to be it. Why are there so many small bones? Our bodies bend at the joints in between our bones. So, the more little bones we have, the bendier we can be. <laughs> Let's see. Can you tell where these bones go? I know how to find out. My turn in the skelly ma wizard Hi, Sally! Wow, you've got lots of little bones in your hands and feet, Nick. That's why they're so bendy. Don't forget those small bones at the back. The backbone is made up of bendy little bones from your neck bone right down to your tailbone. <laughs> we have tailbones? Awesome! It's this teeny tiny one right here. It's not like mine. But it's called a tailbone all the same. <laughs> are those bones, those bones, those bones, wahoo! Those small bones are inside you. Small bones in your back, hands and feet. Help your body bend, which is neat. <laughs> I'm glad we have small bones. Otherwise, we'd be all stiff like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nick. Hmm. If the funny bone isn't a small bone, 
then it must be one of these funny-shaped ones. Are any of these the funny bone? They are not funny bones, but they sure do tickle. Tickle? To find bones that tickle, there's just one thing to do. Whistle real loud for thing one and thing two. Get tickling! Keep tickling them bones! They found them! Those bones are called ribs. Hey, I can feel mine! There's a whole row of them going right around my body. Rib bones make a cage to protect our squishy insides. <laughs> That's right. Like a real cage protects a bird. Those bones, those bones, those bones, wahoo! Those funny shaped bones are inside you. Rib bones keep us safe from bumps and hits. Oops! <laughs> Protecting our soft and squishy bits. <laughs> Insides are protected by a bone cage. Me too. But if those bones aren't the funny bone, which one is? Maybe if you put them all together, there'll be one left over with nothing to do. And that will be the funny bone. There are so many bones. We'll need help. <laughs> one of you, please, step inside. <laughs> Now look at Thing One Skeleton and use the bones from the box to copy it. That's a great idea! How about this one, Sally? Hmm. That funny-shaped bone is called the hip bone. It fits right here. Yay! Let's get more bones, Nick. And these little finger bones go right here. We did it, Sally. We used every bone in the bone box. The head bone's connected to the back bone. And the back bone's connected to the rib bone. Those bones all fit together inside us. It's our skeleton. And each bone has its own special job to do. So we can't be without one. <gasps> but one bone is missing. Too bad we never found the funny bone. Oh, but you did. Really? <laughs> I played a little joke on you. <laughs> it's the one in the cat's hat. <laughs> the one in my hat? <laughs> Imagine that. I had it all along. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the funny bone because of the funny feeling you get when you bump your elbow. <laughs> Aha. Mm. And the funny bone's what we need to finish the skeleton puzzle. Home time! Bye-bye now! Goodbye, Dr. Giggles! Thanks for telling us about bones! Bye! Bye-bye! You're all so welcome! Goodbye! <laughs> bones, bones, bones! Woohoo! There are lots of bones inside of you! Some bones are funny, some are large, some quite small. But when put together, bones are why we stand tall! We have bones, even if it means we can't jiggle. Me too. And I'm glad some things have no bones, because they wouldn't be so much wiggly and jiggly yummy fun. <laughs> Isn't this a good time? <laughs> Welcome to Hat Chat. Today we're going to interview this wolf cub. Hi, hi, hi there. Ow! Why are you howling? I know. There's a full moon. At the moon, right? Oh, no. It's just a myth. A myth? Yeah, like a story. Sometimes people think we howl at the moon, but it's not really true. Then why did you howl? Oh, I was just letting my mom know where I was. That's how we wolves talk to each other. Whoa, um, you're moving around a lot. <laughs> we wolf cubs play a lot. It helps to teach us things we'll need to know for when we get bigger. Oh, I get it. You're pretending to catch your food now, so you'll know how to when you grow up. You got it! <laughs> and that's our interview with the wolf cub. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Where do you live? Asked this cat in the hat. On the top of a hill? Or on ground that is flat? Wherever 
wherever you are, there is rock down below. Below earth, below water, below sand, below snow. Long, long ago, some rocks reached to the sky and became giant mountains where eagles fly high. Then rivers and ice would wear some rocks away until valleys were formed that we still see today. And when rocks wear away for millions of years, an amazing and very large canyon appears. Some underground rivers carve caves deep and wide where bats live in colonies deep down inside. So you see how the rocks form the shape of our land. Our beautiful world that this cat thinks is grand. We hope you enjoyed this catastic Cat in the Hat special. Don't forget you can watch him anytime at pbskids.org. Now, get ready to hang out with your dynamite pals from Dinosaur Train, right here on PBS Kids.